I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. The camera is out of film. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Oh, I love carrying stuff. 
It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. It's an instant camera. Only has one picture left. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. It's an old abandoned chainsaw. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Still has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Ball blaster from Mucus Flem Games? Hmm, never heard of it. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? 
Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister, Emily. Hi there. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Beep. Was. Eek. Eek. Click, click, click. Beep. Click, click, click. Beep. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Nuts. I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Boop. Heek. Beep. Heek. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. It's an empty soda bottle. Wait up, eager beaver. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people of Reno's? Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. 
Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arino? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the... Calculate no wait seven. The primary function of the blood drawn 3000 trademark patent pending is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. Procure a slob or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Locked off. Yes. One, a robot may not injure a human being or who in action allow a human being to come to harm. Two, the robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, the robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Four, Party Light hits 1999. It should be. The primary function of the Fingertron 3000 trademark 
Just to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the arrest on 3000 trademark patent pending. Using official government issue fingerprint tape, place it on an object with fingerprints and the fingerprint will be transferred. It's around here somewhere. I'm not going to solve this whole crime for you. You're probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? Entering hibernation state. One thousand and seventy miles. The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is ninety-three thousand miles. At its closest orbit, the Sun is 91.4 million miles from the Earth. The Andromeda Galaxy is around 2 million light years away. Seriously, you've been playing too many adventure games. The primary function of the Phase 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. The Phase 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Sure. Whatever. Subroutine exit A. It's closed. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Arenos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the uh, restaurant. Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. 
If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Insert three reports from the Blocktron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Facetron 3000 into the Arresttron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. It's a speck of dust. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Massachusetts, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada, Georgia. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> 